Alright guys, Steven here with another video and in this video we're gonna watch the finals of Indie Pro and the first call out. So let's see who do we have in our top 6 and I must tell you that all these guys brought an amazing shape. They are all in great condition, they are pretty much all of them, not all of them, Luke is hmm, disappointing honestly. He is, he's definitely worse than Australia even, not only worse than Arnold Ohio. So, he is the one who did not bring the best conditioning, but all these other guys are looking awesome, especially Akim Williams. This is arguably his best shape ever. And Steve, Steve brought it big time. And this new guy, Hassan Mostafa, he really is good, as much as I believed, as much as I said in the previous Indie Pro prediction video. So now you're gonna see what happens, and the judges are gonna destroy them now, so they're gonna make them pose for a long time. And uh, let's see what happens. So, of course, as you can see, Steve Kuklo is in the middle. That means he's the winner most likely. But, yeah, I would say so. I don't think anybody can challenge him. And as far as the third and the f uh, second place, I must change my prediction. I will not say that's going to be uh, Luke. I would say that's going to be Akim Williams and Hassan Mustafa. And the fourth place may even go to Justin Rodriguez. And uh, Luke may even take 5th place, but we'll see. So front, a uh, lad spread. Um, you can see that the sharpness now, I mean, Luke is flat, Luke is watery, very, very soft. And uh, Steve, hard as hell. And you can see this Hassan guy, so he's short. He's shorter than I thought, but he has the thickness, he has the density to his physique. Especially in his arms and his, his back. So look at now his back when he turns around. Look at the lads. Wow, and he he's conditioned actually. He's conditioned. <laughs> I, he didn't look like this in the pre-judging, but it was a poor video. This video is much much better. Um, you can see his lower back, he, his lats, his pretty much whole back looks very very conditioned, very defined. Um, I'm amazed honestly. But Steve is taller, so he has bigger frame, and his glutes are looking thicker. Um, on the other hand, you have a Kim Williams, and his lower body from this back shot looks amazing but he's not that wide in the upper body in the upper part of his back he has the density the thickness but, he, but he's not very wide he doesn't show great width and side tricep that's a very good pose for Hassan so look at him here look at his arms he has an amazing arm development especially triceps they're looking so massive and his legs are humongous he has some huge legs Maybe even too big. He doesn't have that too big sweep, but uh, the inner part and just the overall fullness of his legs is maybe even overpowering his uh, the last the, the the rest of his body. And uh, let's see now. So they made some changes. They put Luke on the side once again on the other side. <laughs> so he's probably out of top three, and this is your top three most likely. So Luke, Akim, and uh, Hassan. So you tell me. I would say it's. Uh, it's Steve, most likely, yeah. Yeah, nobody else is touching him, pretty much. The second place, most likely Akim, so look at him here. You can see the legs of Akim are not as good as Steve's, but he's very, very dry, for sure. It's so funny when they cross their legs when they're doing side chest. I don't know why they need to pull the legs so much behind. Yeah, you can see them here. Um, Luke is pff, so disappointing. He, I think he looks so tired. It's, I don't know, I don't know why he's looking like this bad, but he's looking flat and watery and flabby. Oh my god, look at this, Hassan is in the middle. That probably means that they decided that Steve is gonna win it, and now they want to decide about the second and the third place. And that's probably gonna be between these two guys, so Hassan or Akim. And who would you go with? I'm not honestly sure. Pfft. I guess, I guess Akim is edging him out a little bit, but because of the legs, I'm not sure. And because of the upper body, I may even go with Hassan uh, as far as second place. And the third place, I would I'd rather go to, rather give it to Justin Rodriguez than I would give it to Luke. I don't know, Luke is just looking tired. He looks like he gave up pretty much. And the only guy he's gonna beat is probably gonna be that guy on the right, who we probably Nobody here probably knows his name. I don't know his name. And uh, yeah, as far as top two, top three, that's gonna be Steve, Hassan, and Akim. And I personally would rather go with Hassan than I would go with Akim. 
but it's arguable. It's arguable. I, I'm, the way judges are moving them, I would say that's going to be Akim still to win it, to win the second place. But me personally, I would rather go with Hassan. He kind of looks more complete. He has the density, the thickness of his... Look at it now. Look at it now. Uh, look at the, the density of his arms, the triceps, and the dryness of his chest. He has that grain look, which is very rare to see nowadays. So, yeah, we're, they're making some more changes. I guess they want to compare Steve with Luke once again, and I don't know why, but it's not even close. And it looks like Akim is going to win it because he's in the middle, but I don't think that's going to happen. They probably just want to compare Akim with Steve and with Hassan. So that's probably the reason, I'm not sure. But um, I would go with Hassan for the second place. What do you guys think? Do you think he's better? Do you think Akim is going to win it? Anyway, this is a very exciting show. I didn't expect this Indie Pro to be this good. But these guys really brought an amazing shape. All of them. Except Luke. Luke disappointed me. But it is what it is. And yeah, I go with Steve. By far. Nobody beats him. And yeah, this is money shot for him. So he shows great width. Great conditioning and the development of the back. I mean, Akim is conditioned, his glutes are looking rock hard, but there is no width in his back. And Hassan, you know, he is also pretty narrow in the shoulders, but he has amazing lats. So look at the lower body, lower lower back, sorry, of him. Very, very thick. And he always slowly turns around. So he, he actually wants to show the thickness of those lats. And he should do that, because those lats are thick as hell. And this pose is very good for him also. He shows an amazing arm development. And this pose is horrible for Steve because there is no depth in his abs. Pretty much abs are invisible. Although I'm not saying these other guys are bad. They're all horrible when it comes to abs. But as far as conditioning and as far as muscular development and everything, I would go with Steve once again. And the second place, probably it is going to be Akeem, but I would rather go with Hassan. So he's going to be probably third place. That's your top three. And fourth, it's going to be between Luke and uh, Justin, but I would go rather with Justin. That's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, like it. Don't forget to like it. And don't forget to subscribe, because I'm going to be posting all kinds of bodybuilding-related content. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.